Now we have some more images of the devastation Ian has caused. This is in Fort Myers in southwest Florida. Homes just gutted. You can see one house where there's just a frame and it looks like it caught fire. Now to this video coming out of Orlando. This is outside the Westgate Palace Resort. You can see the trees there just whipping in the wind and also a giant piece of stucco just ripped right off the side of that hotel. Both Disney World and Universal Studios are closed today. Meteorologist Lena Maria Arango tonight has an interesting look at the storm surge. I wanted to take a moment to discuss why storm surge is often considered the most dangerous component of tropical systems. It can be hard to fathom what several feet of rushing water looks like, especially if you've never experienced it firsthand. In fact, those who don't evacuate often cite that as one of their reasons for not doing so. I've lived here my whole life and it's never flooded or I didn't understand what that many feet of rushing water could do. I'm going to use this lift to hopefully create some perspective. Rushing water is both extremely powerful and extremely dangerous. It only takes six inches of moving water to knock a grown adult off their feet, and it exploits structural weaknesses, which is why it gets inside. Water flowing at just a few miles an hour can create as much force as tornadic winds, and it always comes in much quicker than it goes out. I'm going to take a moment to raise this lift to 7.12 feet, the height of the storm surge in Fort Myers from a then Category 4 Hurricane Ian, which was more than double the previous record for that area. This can happen very quickly, creating life threatening situations. And in single floor dwellings, there is no higher ground. You will unlikely survive a swim to safety as storm surge can extend for miles. And in addition to the brute force of the rushing water, debris and animal life can be present in that water. In addition to all of the threats occurring overhead, a lot of thought goes into issuing evacuation. So I cannot stress this enough. If you are able to evacuate, please do so. Remember, take shelter from the wind, but run from the water. We cannot always protect property, but we can protect your life. In studio, meteorologist Lena Maria Dango, Fox 26.